In uh, spite of this extreme pressure, you have all through this process been ready to speak for yourself and for other athletes with great dignity and clarity in a friendly and objective way of arguing. You have stuck to your positions and principles. Also, after the International Olympic Committee at last offered you some compensation and job security, an offer you very understandably accepted. And more than all, from the outset, you also had to fight the enemy inside yourself, the one that was managing your daily life once, where you had to lie to friends, family and colleagues, media and society. And without knowing what was awaiting you, you decided to leave the comfort zone of being a part of a corrupt system. So, I hope you can accept the Play the Game Award. Thank you very much. And, uh, Jamaica 
and a number of other countries. We raised questions about the honesty and efficiency in procedures established by the IOC, WADA, and the international federations. We showed that the sanctions Russia claimed it imposed on support personnel were not effectuated. We documented that WADA and the IOC changed their mind about the significance of certain drugs in the very moment that one of contemporary sports' most important icons was at the risk of getting into trouble. Your work was carried out while observing the highest standards of the journalistic profession. It is always a temptation for a journalist to spice the story up with a little more drama than the documentation did necessarily bear. But you always let the documentation speak for almost for itself with shortness and sharpness that matches the TV format very well. It was no coincidence that these stories landed in your desk and in your hands. Because those of us who have followed you from about 17 years, we can easily say that you are one of the most determined, tireless, and un uncompromising researchers we have met. Uh, this scandal that we're talking about uh, may oh, be overshadowing the rest of your work. Yeah, we put them all together, but you only got to that point because you had proven over decades that your credibility and sincerity was not an item to negotiate. Trust is the most essential capital in journalism. In that sense, you are already a rich man. <laughs> but you have also paid a high price for the attention that your work over the past three years has drawn and the impact it has had on the international agenda. You have been put under great political and psychological pressure. You have been exposed to harassment and threats. <laughs> and it is likely to believe that your personal safety has been and perhaps still is at risk. Julian, Vitaly, and Heidel. Together, you have left an indelible mark on how the world public today regards international sport and anti-doping. And you have pulled aside the curtains that were hiding the truth, and you have put international sport and anti-doping organizations worldwide to work. You have shown us what can be achieved with personal courage, unwavering commitment, and tireless efforts, and you fully deserve the Playboy Award 2017 and a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you and congratulations.